What's up guys, Mike here back with another Overwatch tip video. Today's video is all about maximizing your damage output with Zarya. We're going to be going over what the best damage combo for Zarya is, when and how to use it, and a training drill to help you practice the combo. Zarya's weapon is the Particle Cannon. The Particle Cannon holds 100 ammo. The Particle Cannon's main fire is a beam that deals 4.75 damage per ammo used. The alternate fire lobs explosive charges dealing 45 damage and costs 25 ammo per shot for a maximum of 4 uses before needing to reload. Now even though Zarya's right click explosive charge costs 25 ammo, it can still be used when you are under 25 ammo. Even with just 1 ammo left, you can right click and it deals the same amount of damage as if it had consumed 25 ammo. When you fire off Zarya's right click explosive charge, there is a pause between each shot. During this pause, however, you can still use your particle beam. Now remember how you can fire off explosive charge with just 1 ammo remaining? This allows us to weave 24 ammo worth of particle beam during these pauses, while still allowing us to get the 4 maximum explosive charges per clip of ammo. Without even counting Zarya's passive, this 24 ammo worth of particle beam increases your combo by an additional 114 damage. You can also do this combo by leading with your particle beam instead of the explosive charge. Using the particle beam first lets you line up rocket shots while still outputting extra damage. Missing a little bit of beam doesn't matter much, but missing one of your explosive charges can be extremely costly. The best way to practice this combo is at the training dummies. The training dummies respawn quickly so you constantly have another target to hit. The goal here is to combo constantly while getting 4 explosive charges off every ammo clip. Try and use as close to 24 ammo on the beam as possible during the combo. Using more than 24 ammo means you won't get your 4 explosive charges from one clip, and using any less than 24 means you're missing out on extra damage. There is a fine balance between too much and not enough particle beam that takes some time to practice to get right. I do this drill for 5 minutes straight as part of my warm up every day. Towards the end your aim should really be on point. So, when is the best time to use this combo? Well, it might be a little bit easier to talk about when it is not a good idea to use the combo. When you're against a single target that you can easily land your particle beam on, someone like Roadhog or Winston, using all 100 ammo on beam will deal much more damage than using the combo. But, if your target has a small hitbox or is very mobile, hitting the beam is much much harder, so going for the combo is typically better. Against multiple targets, obviously the combo does much better, because you can hit more than one enemy with your explosive charges. I hope this Zarya combo tip was helpful. If it was, make sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe for more Overwatch videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!